The main benefit of mass fill at confined space covers is to clearly identify confined space hazards. In addition, they prevent unauthorized entry when the manway is open for maintenance or inspection activity. The difference between an ordinary confined space and a permit required confined space is the hazards a permit confined space contains. Both spaces have common characteristics. An ordinary confined space is big enough for a worker to enter to perform their tasks. It's not easy to enter, nor is it easy to get out in a hurry due to the configuration. And that makes it also hard for rescuers to get in and render care if an accident would happen. A confined space is also recognized by the idea it's not intended for human occupancy. It might be intended to hold material or it might be intended to shield electrical equipment or mechanical devices. Now a permit required confined space is recognized to contain hazards above and beyond its configuration. That might be atmospheric or chemical, there could be a fall hazard, there could be heat or cold extremes, and it may be the work that an employee performs inside the confined space that creates the hazard, such as welding, which could cause a flash fire, or their introduction of chemicals they're working with that could create the toxic environment. Um, we have a permitting process um, it's a form we fill out. We have to have supervisor sign off on it. All the dangers have to be named and how you're going to take care of the dangers. Um, our on-site rescue team has to be notified. We have to have a rescue team member. Um, and we have to air monitor the space. Confined space covers meet the OSHA requirements for signage or barrier protection. Our confined space covers meet that signage requirement because they prominently display the warning, do not enter. But for situations where you can't inform your employees or all your employees of new confined spaces that may have been discovered, confined spaces that have been created due to maintaining equipment, lockable covers are a barrier solution that provides securement that would keep people from inadvertently entering into that confined space. A key benefit for the user is that our products are reusable and provide a consistent method for securing confined space entryways. The covers are very easy to apply. The worker would first hold the straps and push down on the cover to begin the cinching of the cover material. That way it can be wrapped around the manway flange. Next, the cinch cover material is fed to the top of the cover to create a pocket. The pocket is then placed over the top edge of the flange and wrapped around the entire manway. Once the cover is in place, the two straps are pulled tight to further cinch the cover to the manway. Finally, a padlock is applied to the grommets on the straps in order to secure the cover in place. The elastic cover is even easier to apply by placing the cover around the manway flange. The elastic then grips to the flange and the cover is in place. Our lockable covers come in both solid and ventilated versions. The solid covers are best purpose in situations where you need to eliminate foreign material from entering the confined space. The ventilated covers are best used in situations where you need to promote airflow through the confined space. The elastic covers also promote airflow and are typically used in situations where the cover needs to be frequently applied and removed during maintenance operations. Manway entry points typically range in size anywhere from 16 to 39 inches in circumference. We have cover designs that fit all of those different size entry points. Our covers will fit a wide variety of entryway shapes and sizes that are commonly found in multiple different industries. When we leave a hole for break, lunch, uh, end of the day work, shift change, uh, we have danger do not enter tag and we hang a confined space tag off of it uh, with a do not enter sign. The tape is all we use at this point. Sometimes uh, barrier tape uh, is put up and it's not clear what is actually being meant by that. Versus a confined space cover has a uniform sign clearly stating danger, do not enter, confined space. It is obvious to any worker passing by that there's been intentional blockage of this space for their safety. I like the flexibility of them. I like the sizes we can get of the covers and the ability to keep the airflow going and cool down the area so that we will be switching to the master lock covers.